Hello everybody, I'm Mino, and welcome back to another Minecraft Snapshot video. This week's Snapshot is 14W02A, and in this Snapshot we got a couple new blocks as you can see. Our first block is and Andesite, and it's polished version. Our next block is Granite, and it's polished version. And we have Diorite, and it's polished version. Now the way to obtain these polished versions of this block is uh, by simply by making a 4x4 square and you get four polished blocks of it. Also, the way to get these blocks is by caving for them. They are all underground and when you mine them they stay in, in this block. You have to craft the polished version to get the polished version but they stay like this no matter what. So it's like it's like mining a dirt block and it stays in its dirt form. That's how it is. Now the way you can find them is just by going in a cave. Look at this is just a random cave I found and it had all three in it. And it doesn't matter what height you're at, you can find any of them at any of the heights. Because I made a hole way over here and if we go down it you can see that they're all at different heights. Now the first one we see right here is well it's at the Y of 60 which is right below ground level. And then if we go farther down we find the diorite at the at very low parts of uh, the world generation so you can find it basically anywhere and yeah the next part of the snapshot is doors now stack so now you can make as many doors as you need especially when you're making like a an iron foundry or something from tangle tech to get an iron farm going you need a lots of doors and now you can stack all the doors in the chest so you'll be able to do that now we'll move on to the next thing. The next thing added in the snapshot are slime blocks. Now slime box can be used as like a trampoline bouncing block. See? I bounce and I'm taking no fall damage. This is a good thing to add up in high places that way you can jump down without taking any damage. Now how to craft these blocks is to completely fill up the crafting table and that makes one slime block. So you need nine altogether to just make one but if you live near a swamp it's not that hard to do and you could add them basically anywhere you want let's see how high we can actually jump here wow you can you can get some good height with these things alright next thing I'm gonna go over is the new enchanting alright now for the enchanting now when you put something in the enchanting table now there are these XP orbs around the side now you can see the very first enchant of that item now there is a new slot to put lapis lazuli unfortunately I have no idea what it does yet or how it even is used because once I put all of that in there and I hit the enchant nothing else happens to that lapis so I'm not really sure what that's supposed to do but I'm sure it'll get in implemented in a sooner updated snapshot or something now also for combining picks it costs a lot less this is an unbreaking uh, three efficiency four and fortune three pick and this is unbreaking three efficiency efficient efficiency four pick my I'm sorry and it's only 11 levels to combine them to make it an efficiency five and if I want to rename this to something else let's just call it speed it's only one more level to make it 12 which is really uh, outrageous but it's awesome now it makes it a lot easier to combine things and you don't have to sit there and grind and grind and grind to get those levels next thing I'm gonna go over is the villager training system now villager training got changed a lot but I think it changed for the better now I just spawned all these I did some trading with this guy just to see how it worked and I just spawned them so let's see how they look ah this one started out with two trades first which is pretty cool this one start off with three three also just two and just two and look at that a fortune three book you can get from then but it costs 41 diamonds alright I did some trading with this guy and look at all the trades they can do now they can do so many let's see how we can count them one two three four five six seven seven trades which is ridiculous I'm gonna do some trading with this guy and see what we can get going here 
Let's see if we can cancel his trade. Come on. Oh, no. Okay. You don't want to cancel? I'll, I'll keep going, boy. I'll keep going. Because I know when you cancel it, it'll make a big X go through. See, look at there. It canceled right there. And if you're also hearing, we are getting XP from trading now. So this gives you kind of an incentive to trade with them. So let's see what else he's got now. Ooh, added in three more enchant. Well, not enchants, but trades. This is canceled now. But if we go back in and we make a trade right here with him. See, look at, see the XP orbs? There we go. You get XP. Now let's see if the trade reopens. See, it reopened. So now we can get these again, which is pretty awesome and pretty cool. Now, if you don't believe me that they spawn with multiple trading openings, let's just spawn one right here so you guys can see. We got a priest, and look at that, two right off the bat. So, yeah, villager trading got changed, but it changed for the better. It makes it uh, a lot more useful to people for trading when you need to get, say, a fortune three, because you can't get one. And also, if you need glowstone and whatnot, you can get it. And these simpler villagers make it a lot easier to trade with them now instead of having to give them emeralds and whatnot. So yeah, let's just jump into the next thing, I guess. Alright, the next thing I'd like to show you guys is you can now craft mossy stone bricks. All you need is one moss, I mean, one stone brick and then one vine, and that creates one mossy stone brick. Now let's see if, yep, on any side and anywhere in the crafting table so yeah that makes mossy stone brick which is pretty awesome I actually have a use for vines now that way I can actually get mossy stone bricks so yeah I thought that was pretty cool to add in the next thing you can do in the snapshot video is you can lock the difficulty level of this world now I locked my difficulty level at peaceful now once you lock it you are unable to reset it so yeah now you can set all your single player modes to hard that way you can go into your creative worlds and they can be on peaceful and you don't have to worry about mob spawning and whatnot so if this video helped you at all or you enjoyed it leave a like and hit that subscribe button as always guys i'm mino and i'm out